Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. We're going to be continuing Bianco Hills today. And I slurred that so hard, I don't know if you could hear half of those words. But I'll be facing off that boss battle I mentioned at the end of last episode on top of the windmill here, PD Piranha. This was a boss battle that was very difficult for me the first time playing back when I was 8. But now it is super easy, except I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with the cameras too well. Just going to be running ahead here. I could be getting blue coins, but I don't know if I'm going to dedicate a specific episode to getting blue coins, like some YouTubers like to do. But I'm just going to be trying to beat the game, so I, it's not going to make any large difference except for making it a bit harder to remember what blue coins I need to get because sometimes you have to clean people off and then they and when you talk to them they give you a blue coin which you can only do in very specific levels. Oh, give me some water. There we go. So you really don't have to clean off any of the world, even though the game suggests that you should. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, what's that bird doing? I don't remember the birds being so low off the ground. I can just do a wall jump here. There we go. Uh, man, this camera is reverse of what I want. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating me. <laughs> there we go, that's what I want. See, like, I'll be getting this uh, blue coin just because it's right there and I'm waiting. Even though in later levels I would also have the exact same opportunity to get it. And I was thinking of having like a blue coin and shine sprite counter, but they just kind of pop up on the screen when I don't move. But I mean like having a counter for specific levels. Kind of like what I did with my Kirby 64 Let's Play. Where I'm like, okay, I see I got these crystals. So you'd be like, oh yeah, I got this number of blue coins. But here is the boss battle with Petey Piranha. He is huge, but I don't care. And Petey is such a cool character. I mean, he's also like an edgy character, but he's a piranha plant. It's a crompa crump. Yep, just gotta uh, put water in his mouth. Gotta do this three times, so uh, yeah. Oh shit. Spawning on me. Alright. Still need to get <laughs> super adjusted to this camera for the millionth time. Yeah, like the first time I ever did this boss battle, I ran out of water because I. I was just so bad at like running quick enough to get the, the water in his mouth. Petey. Some side mouth action. I'm really glad that the hitbox isn't super specific, especially since you're trying to hit him from a lower angle. But yeah, he becomes the muddy graffiti goop, which also looks like poop and chocolate and pudding and all the good stuff. Oh, jeez. Alright, momentum just completely shifted there, I think. But yeah, there is our third Shine Sprite. We're just gonna be running down uh, Bianca Hills, just getting a bunch of Shine Sprites. That right there is another level that we have unlocked. But we do have to face another one of those Piranha Plants. Probably won't be doing that for a while. 
because we got a secret shine sprite. I mean, it's like a secret theme level. It's not actually a secret shine sprite. But every level has these locations that when you go inside them during their specific level... I mean, you can't go in them unless you do it during that level. But they have, like, a cool type of level where you don't have... Like, you can't use Flood at all. And they're pretty fun. They're also really difficult if you are a rookie at platforming. God, this fucking camera. Jeez. Just trying to get this wall jump off. There we go. So yeah, Shadow Mario is a little dick and stole Flood. I don't exactly understand how we get him back. Since all we're doing is collecting the Shine Sprite, there's no scene where you grab Flood from Shadow Mario. But yep, this is another level that's difficult on the first try. I already mentioned that, what am I talking about? Like, these stars, like, holy shit, they are hard the first time. But yeah, that's the level. <laughs> We're just gonna keep knocking down levels, just left and right and left and right. And now we have a red coin level. And Super Mario 64, there were just eight red coins scattered around the level at all times. But in Super Mario Sunshine, it's a specific level where the the red coins will only spawn during that said level. And this one kind of gets to test out your abilities to use the hover nozzle on Flood. And you kind of get to move around this half of the map, which you rarely get to do in any of the stars, or the shine sprites. But I, I don't know, it's like half and half, but you will be spending much more time on the, the windmill half. And then that enemy there is the wind. I don't know what they're called, but... He is a piece of shit and should not be taken seriously. I mean, well, he should be taken seriously. But if you were to talk to him in person, you will have a bad time talking with the wind. Like that red coin in the air, you can. Those weird kind of windmill obstacles on top of those houses with the sails and the, the bridges. You are able to. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You can hit the the fans with water, and then they spin. I'll demonstrate here. Yeah, so that takes a while. Now jumping is just a better option. Wait, where is? It's not up there. All right. Oh, it's down there. Check out those speedrun strats. Get on my level. This is why people dab. Gosh. Camera. I'm gonna be complaining about this for like eight episodes, by the way. <laughs> Probably. Fuck. I played that really recklessly. The jump on there, yes. But we are so close to the shine sprite, I can almost taste it. And I almost ran out of water too. But we got room in the tank 
for one more Shine Sprite in Bianco Hills. So let's do that. Even though this one's a long one, hopefully I don't struggle with it. It is a revenge match against PD Piranha. PD Piranha strikes back. He ain't Mewtwo, but he he's back at it again. So this was one of the toughest and one of my least favorite levels growing up. Just because the the way that the battle proceeds is totally shitty if you are playing this for the first time and you're eight and like holy crap you you will see in a moment how it just steps up the game ramps things up um, yeah awesome Alright, that worked out awesome. Oh. There we go. Boy, he about to do it. So yeah, Peter Brown gets to fly and... You can only uh, hit him out of the sky when he is like making noises and sweating and all that shit. Just so it doesn't like break the boss battle. water. Good thing this isn't Pokemon because grass types are resistant to water. And he'll just go back in the sky, you know. He's cool like that. Like, my strategy for this boss battle the first time I did it was to just kind of hang out in the river just so that he couldn't necessarily hit me. Wow, that actually hit him. Like, I'm gonna need to refill my water very soon. Oh, yeah. That thing better not hit me. <laughs> awesome. And in this free time, I wanna get some water back. enough. Awesome. This might be in the quickest time I'd ever beat this boss battle. Yeah, that's right. Ah, give me that juicy star. Yum. Let's get that blue coin one. Okay. And lucky for me, the Shine Sprite has a predetermined spot that it spawns in. Which happens to be right there, next to where I ended the battle. So that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Feel free to leave a like as it will help the channel grow. And be sure to subscribe to get updates on my uploads as soon as they happen. But until then, I will be seeing you guys next time.